Today we will see how to configure Z Shell. So you have two choices. You can either configure it by hand or you can use a configuration framework. The most popular one is called Oh My Z Shell. It's a very old and large project. It has 100,000 stars on GitHub, but at the same time there is a lot of issues pending and a lot of pull requests. Although it's a comprehensive project, some people have performance issues. Up to this point I've been using on my Z-Show, but I would like to try something different. And I found this project called Zim, which is also a configuration framework for Z-Show that's uh, blazing fast and provides this modular approach. And in this video we will see how to configure that. On top of that I'm using a team for Z-Show called Spaceship. And luckily this, uh, this team is supported by Zim. So let's get started. So first thing we need to do is to install Zim. So I'll just copy that. Okay, that was pretty fast and straightforward. Let's now try to enable the spaceship team. So I will just grab this line and we need to add it to our Zim RC. And then we need to run Zim FW install. Okay, it seems it's working. Once we have it installed, let's check, let's change the mode from Emacs to Vim. So I will need to open the Z shell and there is a setting bint key. By default it's E, which is Emacs, but we want to have it set to VI. And now if I type something, press escape, it doesn't work, I need to restart. And now it's working. Perfect. That's pretty much it. There are many options in Spaceship and in Zim. So I encourage you to check them out. Spaceship prompt and Zim, the Z-Shell configuration framework. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.